I have recently changed the commenting system on averagelinuxuser.com. It is a static website built with Jekyll. And in this video, I would like to share with you my experience of finding the best commenting system for a static website. Static websites have many advantages over dynamic websites. Because all pages are static, they just need to be served and there is no need to build them, so usually static websites much faster. But there is disadvantage, because everything is static, it is difficult to introduce comments into such a website, and there is no built-in commenting system in static websites, unlike in dynamic websites such as WordPress, which have built-in commenting system. But there are many third-party solutions which you can use to add comments to your static website, and we will have a look at the most popular of them in this video. And we will start with Discus. Discus is probably the most popular commenting system not only for static websites, but for websites in general. This is how Discus looks on averagelinuxuser.com. I am sure you have seen this commenting system before. It is very, very feature-rich. There is a section which suggests previously published posts, there is a section with reactions and the commenting part. As you can see, you can log in using different social media here, you can also log in using your Discus account, and there is also a commenting thread here. Discus can be installed almost on any platform as you can see here, and the installation process is very simple, you just need to paste a specific code to your website. There are not that many customization options as you can see here, you can switch between light and dark theme, and also you can enable and disable some of the features of Discus. But I think the greatest advantage of Discus commenting system is its dashboard with all the comments overview in one place. You can see all the comments which have been left on your website, you can moderate them here to mark them as a spam, delete or approve, and you can also reply to the comments right from here, and I think this is one of the best features of Discus. Nevertheless, Discus has some problems, and the first feature what I don't like about Discus is that you cannot leave anonymous comments here, I mean truly anonymous. For example, you can write here a comment, and let's say you want to leave it as a guest anonymously. You can select a feature here to leave as a guest, so your name will not be shown on the comment. But you still need to accept all these agreements here, and even if you write your name here without email, you still cannot leave a comment because it asks you to put your email address. So this doesn't mean you leave anonymous comment, it just means you leave your comment as a guest, so you don't need to register. But you still need to enter your email, and I know that for many Linux users this is of great concern, and they don't like it. And this is probably the major problem of Discus. There has been a big discussion about Discus selling the user data to third parties without users knowing about that. Discus is also a very heavy commenting system. These are all the services which are loaded together with the Discus commenting system on your website. Some people ditch Discus and switch to other commenting systems just because of that. Another problem of Discus is it inserts ads on your website if you are using a free version. And to get rid of ads, you need to subscribe to a paid version which starts at $9 a month. So as you can see, despite all the great features of Discus, there is nothing free here. However, according to this Twitter survey which I performed two years ago, many users don't care and they still like using Discus as a commenting system. But I personally decided to skip it first of all because I don't really like their interface and second it is a very heavy commenting system and I want my site to be as light as possible and as fast as possible. Our next commenting system is HiverTalk and this is probably the second most feature-rich commenting system after Discus. This is how it looks, this is the editor and there is also a section with reactions. And that's it, it is quite simple and very light commenting system. The only problem I think this interface for this commenting system is not my favorite, and also when you want to leave a comment, you need to log in using your HiverTalk account or you need to create a HiverTalk account. There is an option to enable guest comments as you will see from the dashboard, but it is not available here in this demo version. HiverTalk can be easily installed on any popular website system, including Jekyll, as you can see here. You can also customize it to some extent using these very nice customization options here, but it is still mostly the same HiverTalk interface. 
Of course you can use CSS to customize it even more, but I think it will require some extra efforts. You can also enable some features here, for example such as guest comments, as you can see emoji, you can also enable GIFs and images for, for the comments. But I think the best feature of HiverTalk is its dashboard, and in particular that you can reply to a comment right from this editor. So if you receive many comments to different posts, they will all be aggregated here and you can easily moderate them and also reply to the comments. You can also get some analytics here and some other features which I'm not going to cover here. You're welcome to check them yourself. HiverTalk will cost you only $5 per month and you can try it on your website for two weeks with a free trial. And in general I would say this is a very nice commenting system. Moreover, I also would like to emphasize that this is a very new project. It has been launched only like a few years ago and it has been developed a lot. But I still don't use it on my website for two major reasons. First of all, I don't like its interface, I still prefer something more minimal. And second, I don't like their pricing policy, because when they started this project they had a free version and they also had a paid version, and the paid version was $40 per month. Now they completely remove a free version, and there is only a paid version, and I think it is very unfair, because many users sign up for a free version, and now they are forced to pay. I think this unstable pricing policy is not something what I would like to support. The third commenting system is called Commenta, and this was the first candidate I seriously considered to install on my website. And this is how it looks. I really like this minimal design, you just have a comment box here, there is a login button, and if you want to post anonymously, you can also select this option here. Markdown is supported. And when you leave a comment, you just click here, you can log in with either of your social account, or you can create a commenter account. So very simple, and I also like this thread which looks very nice and clean here. The installation process is also very simple, you just need to register your domain here and add this code to your website. It is very light, there is no ads and no privacy concern. The rest of the settings are very simple, you just select what kind of login options you want to enable, some moderation settings, you can see some analytics, then you can also import your previous comments from your previous platform, and here is an option just to delete this domain. There are two problems related to this commenting system which stopped me from installing it on my website. When you register a domain here, as you can see, I registered my localhost domain here just to test how it works. And when I registered this domain, I started to receive comments from other websites which also registered this domain. And to me this looked like there is a, some security issue here, because I am not supposed to receive emails from other websites. There is no moderation options at all, all the moderation happens for your email, so whenever there is a comment on your website, you will receive email where you can decide whether to keep or delete that comment, and there is no dashboard where you can reply to the comments. And as you can see, the number of features is very limited, but nevertheless, the smallest price for this commenting system starts at $10 per month. And I think it is too expensive for such a simple commenting system with such a limited number of features. That's why I did not install it on my system. Another commenting system which is similar to Commento is called Commentbox. It is also very minimal, very light commenting system for your static website. But unlike Commento, there is a free option available, so you can get a commenting system for your small website for free. So this is how the commenting system looks. You can log in with different social accounts here as well as with your email. There is also an option to enable anonymous comments. The dashboard is also very minimal, similar to the commenter dashboard, and there is no like proper moderation dashboard with option to reply to the comments. All the moderation and replies is managed through your email. And I seriously considered to install this commenting system on my website, but I had a couple of issues which I tried to resolve and I tried to reach the developer, but he never replied to my emails. And I started to check in more information on this commenting system, and I found that the last update on this commenting system was in 2018, and after that there is complete silence from the developer. So I wasn't sure to install such a commenting system on my website, because if it is not developed or if it's not possible to get any help, there is no point to use it, 
Especially it will be a big problem if this commenting system just shuts down without the ability to recover all the comments which were posted on my website. So I gave up on this option as well. Fast comment is a third very simple commenting system similar to Commenter and Comment Box. This is very young commenting system which was founded in 2019. It provides many features similar to Commenter and Comment Box. So this is how the commenting system looks like. You type your comment here, it's very minimal and the thread also looks very nice. In some sense I would say it looks not as good as Commenter, but it looks better than Comment Box. The dashboard is also very limited here. What I like that you can get an overview of your comments here, which you can moderate, but unfortunately you cannot reply comments right here from the dashboard. As you can see, if you try to reply, it will just bring you to the commenting page of that post, which is similar to the previous commenting system where they give you a link to the post with a comment. But you cannot have an overview of all comments in one place, unfortunately. This commenting system starts at $5 per month and if you like how it looks, I would recommend this commenting system because it's very impressive how much it has been developed during like less than two years and I believe it has a great potential, but you can also consider commenter and comment box as alternative options. So you may be wondering by now what commenting system I eventually implemented on my website to make my comments look like this and to create this commenting form. I have created this commenting system with a static man. And if you don't know what static man is, it is an open source project which allows you to embed dynamic content into a static website. It is very complicated how it works if you don't know the system, but in simple words, when somebody submits a comment to your static website, there is a bot which takes that comment and it sends it to GitHub and stores it in my repository. When there is a new comment on the GitHub, there is an automatic trigger which rebuilds the website completely and it embeds this comment into the static web page. So basically all the comments you see on my website, they are static content. So they are embedded into the page and they are considered to be part of the page. But the code behind this process is very complicated. Basically this is how it looks as you can see. I have borrowed many ideas in this code from other websites and I will share all of this in a separate blog post dedicated to commenting system for static websites on averagelinuxuser.com. I will leave the link in the, in the description, so if you are interested, please check it out. I just want to say the advantages of static man. First of all, it is a free option. Second, I open all the comments, so they are stored on my GitHub repository, so I don't need to trust third party to store comments from my website. And I also think the third option is it is very fun to code it. It took me like several weeks to make it work and to make it work exactly as I want it, but I really enjoyed the process and I really like the results. There are also a lot of things which I still want to develop. For example, right now there is no dashboard which I can use to reply the comments, so whenever somebody writes a comment, I just receive email which tells me about this comment and then I need to go to the web page to reply the comment. But I have very nice idea how to write a dashboard to collect all the comments into one place and being able to reply comments simultaneously. So I will keep you updated on my developing of this commenting system on averagelinuxuser.com. Thank you for watching.